Hi folks, this is all the fruit and here I have the Asian pokeweed or Indian pokeweed Fitolaca esculenta or Fitolaca acinosa Yeah, when a plant is called esculenta that's usually a good sign that it's really edible but once I read a very wise sentence about pokeweed it is edible if you know what you are doing what they forgot to add is if you don't know what you are doing you die so the american pokeweed fitulaca americana is much more poisonous than this asian species fitulaca esculentor acinosa but both are toxic yeah and still both are being well, mostly have been used and sometimes they are still being used as food or as medicine. This species here, Vitulaca sinosa, it seems that in East Asia sometimes it even replaces ginseng. However, I'm pretty sure that this is mostly due to the big and funny shaped root. Well, basically it's a big, yeah, a big carrot or beet like root which can look a lot like ginseng root the plant has some psychedelic properties it seems but they pale before its toxic properties the root can be really huge i dug out well i never managed to dig out the whole root of one of those although sometimes i tried really hard i mean this plant here was probably a lot over two meters before someone cuts the tallest branches, but I've dug out roots of three meter tall Fitulaca Americana and I could hardly lift the root. So together with the stubs of the stems, it was probably something over 30 kilograms and quite hard to lift because of a very, yeah, inconvenient shape and some softness so that you cannot really touch it everywhere. Well, so those two pokeweed species, how can you, how can you keep them apart? Well, Fitulaca americana has pretty smooth leaves. Well, Fitulaca esculenta has those rather rough leaves. But the easiest way is to look at the fruit. Fitulaca esculenta or acinosa is composite fruit, so every seed is surrounded by some flesh. They are together, they are sticking together, but they are still separated well Fitolaca americana just looks like a yeah, blueberry or juneberry or uh, choke cherry one one single fruit they both both grow in racemes like the choke cherry but in Fitolaca americana each one of those structures will be basically one slightly flattish ball while in Fitolaca esculenta it is articulated. Well, yeah, both species can be used as medicine or as poison. The young leaves can be used as salad. If you cook them many times and change the water. And the fruit seem to be kind of edible, but also kind of poisonous. In Europe, they were introduced as ornamentals, but also for... Yeah, repairing or correcting problems with winemaking. You know, sometimes in older times when you are making wine and it didn't work out well, your wine, your red wine became brown. Well, it's not nice drinking some brown wine-like liquid and it's almost impossible to sell brown wine. So what do you do? You mix in the juice of some fitolaca. Yeah. Nowadays, this is illegal because a lot of wine consumers were killed that way. Yeah, still I guess one or two fruit will not kill me. So I'll just try them. Hmm. Well, sweet and bitter. It basically tastes like poison. It also has a strange aftertaste, a savory aftertaste. I'll try another one. Folks, please don't copy me. Don't ever do this. Don't eat 
poke wheat, don't eat any parts of the poke wheat. If you are not really experienced with treating poke wheat, this will be. Phew, this will maybe be your last mistake. So, how shall I describe the taste? Yeah. Sweet, bitter, a little bit of astringent, and the savory taste. Hmm. It's a really strange taste. I've tasted it a couple of times in foods and also in non food stuff. It's a pretty strange, not exactly savory, but savory like. Hmm. Yeah, but in general, yeah, it's not tasty enough to really be eaten. Also, it's too poisonous to really be eaten, so folks, there is enough other fruit which are much tastier and which are safe for consumption. So, stay off the pokeweed, no matter if it's the American or the Asian species. Eat some nice blueberries or blackberries or cherries or apples or whatever, stay off the pokeweed. Here in Germany, it's, this one is mildly invasive. The other one, the American one, is a horrible stuff. I've been working sometimes for weeks on a row to eradicate it from some nature reserves. So, eradicate the pokeweed wherever you find it in Europe. And, yeah, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the parks and gardens and roadsides of Germany. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.